hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I've put together the ultimate guide to anatomy. Now when I first started medical school I genuinely hated anatomy. I found it so hard and I didn't think I would be able to get through it. However two years on I have learned so many tips and found so many resources that completely changed how I learn anatomy and they're going to help you out so much too. However that being said everyone's learning style is so different and that is why I've asked all my med school friends to share their biggest tips for anatomy too so that is genuinely something that's going to help every single person in this video so if you do like the sound of today's video then please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new then hi welcome my name's Anna I'm a second year medical student at the University of Birmingham and I would absolutely love if you decided to stick around and subscribe we have all things uni lifestyle medicine there really is something for everyone so click that subscribe button anyway my first tip is to get your yourself an anatomy colouring book. Now you've definitely heard me talk about this before but Netta's is one of my favourite anatomy colouring books. They break everything down so simply, they have really simplistic diagrams and it just means you can get a really good big picture understanding. I also love the fact that you get to colour in it which means I look forward to doing anatomy. One of the most important things with anatomy is doing it little and often and making sure you understand the big picture before you go into the little details and for me anatomy colouring books are absolutely perfect perfect for this. I actually look forward to doing this and it's made a huge difference to how I learn anatomy. Now my second tip is something that I've actually started using this year and it's been so helpful and that is to use mnemonics. Now for me it's so helpful to have words, sentences, phrases associated with what you're trying to learn. One thing you need to make sure with this tip is you actually understand it before you rope learn it with a mnemonic but for me it's so helpful to understand more complicated things and it means it sticks in my brain for a really really long time. For example to learn the brachial plexus I literally love the mnemonic which is three musketeers assassinated five rats five mice and two unicorns now I'm not going to go into what this means it basically helps you remember all of the branches and also the cords to the brachial plexus just associating things with phrases and things like this can be so so helpful with anatomy and you can find little mnemonics really easily online or you can make them up yourself just to have a pattern or phrase to help you remember it for a longer time I find this really works for me and it helps it stick in my brain and my third tip is to find an online resource that suits you and that you love and this brings me on to today's sponsor which is actually Ken Hubs. Now Ken Hubs is an amazing online anatomy resource with everything from quizzes, atlases, video tutorials and if you haven't heard of Ken Hubs then you need to get to know. It has honestly saved me so much with anatomy and means that I enjoy it and enjoy revising it so much more. I can't believe I'm saying this, I genuinely wouldn't have said this at the start of first year however it's just made such a huge difference and I really love this platform so much. Ken Hubs break down every single part of the body so clearly with really simplistic diagrams, videos and then you can actually test your knowledge with the quizzes at the end which I love for active recall which I preach about here on my channel. There is honestly everything you need to ace anatomy on one website. They have everything from histology and radiology which can be really complicated but they break it down so simply for you and they even have these amazing muscles reference sheets which was so helpful for my huge muscle module last year which was so overwhelming but these sheets on Ken Hubs have diagrams and then they have a really clear table with the origin, insertion, innovation and function of everything and make everything really simplistic, easy to learn and exactly what you need for such a complicated subject like anatomy. So thank you so much Ken Hubs for sponsoring today's video and if you haven't gone and checked them out already then get over there now. I'm going to put all the details and links and everything you need in the description box below but I promise you this website is going to help you out with anatomy so much and take away so much stress so make the most of this amazing resource. So those are all my biggest tips for anatomy but don't just take my word for it everyone is such a different learner especially with such a huge topic like anatomy so I went and asked my friends what their biggest tips for anatomy were as second year medical students and I'm so excited to see what they have to say. Hi guys I'm Nate. I'm Nikki. And my first tip for learning anatomy would be get complete anatomy. So Birmingham have an access code which lets you get it for free and I imagine many other medical schools will. And it's a great piece of software where you can look at models for anatomy for all sorts. It covers so many different models and it allows you to select individual parts of the anatomy that you want to isolate and you can manipulate it yourself and it will give you information about all the individual bits that you're looking at 
So it's just a great way to consolidate your learning. My first tip is to use Akvim's Video Atlas of Anatomy. So Akvim is super well read in anatomy and he produces these amazing videos that use these cadaveric images of these structures, so 3D structures of anatomy. He basically breaks down everything that you need to know. I just love that it's so in depth. It's just easier than using a textbook sometimes because a textbook can be quite wordy. So listening to his videos, if you watch them like four times, you are an expert in that area. So my second bit of advice about learning anatomy is the same as for learning anything, and that's space repetition and active recall. There is so much anatomy to learn so if you use flashcards, whether it be on Anki or Quizlet, whatever it is, the best way to learn anatomy is to start doing it little and often and repeat them regularly at different intervals and that will really help you to understand the anatomy and get it into your head early on rather than trying to bulk learn it at the end which will probably stress you out way too much just because there is a lot of anatomy and that can be an issue but if you tackle it from the start and learn it at good set intervals little amounts regularly then you'll be absolutely fine. So my second tip is to become friends with older years. So I know this is initially quite a scary concept but at uni everyone is so friendly, so supportive and you can make these connections through joining MedSoc. So MedSoc has loads of academic societies but also sports, drama, music, the whole lot. Basically what they're amazing at doing is they've gone through what we are going to go through now and they have so much advice about exam technique and every single medical school probably has a different way of examination. So uh, for example us, we do MCQs and essay structure and that was so helpful talking to them about it. So my third and final piece of advice about learning anatomy would be to get involved with anatomy society at your university. I'm sure many med schools have them but the one here at Birmingham is great. Let's tell you a little bit more about that. I'm going to pass over to you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> so I'm the pre-clinical rep for Anatomy Society, and we basically run lots of different things throughout the year. We often have lecturers come in and talk about different areas of anatomy to solidify your learning. Recently, we've been running some revision sessions. So last year, we covered like pancreas, so we recently ran a session on that, where anyone can come to. And this year, we're running sessions on the heart, so I'm sure every single medical school does the same and it's just a very supportive atmosphere. If you feel a bit scared to go up to a lecturer and ask them a question, this is a super friendly atmosphere to go into. Hi guys, um, so I'm Namwa and my first tip for anatomy is find what works for you. So I'm a really visual learner so I learn anatomy by drawing out the diagrams and kind of like rubbing out the labels and trying to label them again when I'm revising. Uh, and then you can also do, like one thing that was really cool was we did a session where we made like a 3D arm, didn't we? Yeah. Like great. with just that like, paper. So you made like a little cuboid and then you like yeah, label the artery. <laughs> and then for my second tip is something that I did was actually to like just look at yourself, like your own body, and try and think like real life application of the anatomy which I think is helpful because then if you look at like we had muscle so you can look at the origin and insertion of a muscle and like think if that's a flexor or an extensor and you can look at your legs and it just helps you to contextualize your learning. Hi I'm Naya and my first tip for anatomy would be to use Teach Me Anatomy. Um, Teach Me Anatomy is a website that has all the regions of the body and like all the subtopics for each region so for example the arterial supply of that region or the nervous supply and it has like little summaries for um, each section and then at the bottom of each page it has it's like a little like um, quiz. little quiz at the end and they're like multiple choice questions which I find really useful to consolidate my understanding and it also has like links at the bottom to like each page so you can like link in each topic as well which I find really useful. So my second tip for anatomy would be that I think it's really important to test your understanding. I use the Gray's Anatomy flashcards, but I think there's also the Netta's Anatomy flashcards, yeah. and they basically have um, like images on the front and then the labels, and then on the back they have the answers for that. So I think that's really useful. Um, also, there's a website called Blue Link Anatomy, and that has cadaveric images, and then it has like the labels for that, and you can test your understanding on that. And there's also like different cases, so they would give you like a case study and that would be like a multiple choice question. So that um, is 
pretty useful to use for um, exam technique as well. So our last tip for anatomy, we have a little joint tip for you, and that's to use Notion. Yeah, so we love Notion because you can put tog like use the toggle function, which is where you kind of make like mini flashcards, and I think that's really good for anatomy, where it's literally just like rough learning things and like memorizing it. So for example, like in the toggle function, you could put like what's the arterial supply of the the arm, for example, yeah. and then. Like underneath the toggle would be the answer, and that's really good for active recall. Yeah, <laughs> we love active recall. And um, you can convert those notes to Anki actually using To Anki, it's a website which we'll we, link it down below. <laughs> <laughs> we recently discovered, um, which is pretty good to use for active recall yeah. again. Yeah. There's all of our tips and good luck for Yeah, good luck. Hi, my name is Emily and my first tip for anatomy would be to draw some really simplified diagrams. Make sure you understand the really general concepts rather than getting really stuck into the details, like knowing every single tiny artery that supplies a specific organ, try to remember kind of the more bigger structures. And then my second tip would probably be to find a textbook that really, really works for you. So for me, that is Grey's Anatomy, but I know that doesn't work for everyone because it's got a lot of detail in it and you don't really know what you're meant to include. But I find the diagrams really, really helpful. Make sure you find one that works for you and you understand the explanations really well and kind of stick with that and use that as your reference point for anatomy. So those are all of our anatomy study tips. Good luck with anatomy. I promise you, once you get started and find a method to suit you, it's not nearly as overwhelming as it seems and you actually might start to enjoy it. I really hope you did find today's video helpful. If you did, then please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you all so soon with my next video, everyone. Have an amazing week. Bye.